Let's say one month from SHCTV today. I'm very lucky to be joined once again over Zoom by Aston Brown. Aston, how are you doing today? I'm all good, mate. How are you? I'm doing brilliant, thanks. So obviously, um, you know, last time we spoke, you know, you got a TKO win just before your fight uh, in Glasgow. You got a TKO win over Edgar Romero. You know, your first stoppage of your pro journey so far. Um, you yeah. know, how, how did you sort of find that whole experience? Because obviously, you know, I remember in the interview with Edgar, you know, you said that you've got, you, you know, you've got the power. You just need the better mm-hmm. opponents to show that. Um, you know, how, how did that sort of feel getting the stoppage and how did you evaluate your performance? Felt nice, mate. Felt nice to get the get the stoppage, obviously. And um, I, thought, I thought I performed very well on the night, leading up until I stopped them. Um, I've stopped a lot of people in amateur as well, so I, I know what it's like to stop somebody, but it felt very nice, as you said, um, as a first stoppage as a pro. So it felt nice to do it in front of my home crowd, man, and um, put on a good performance, and I was happy with it, mate, to be honest with you, and many more to come. Definitely. So then, you know, quite a quick turnaround, you know, after that, it was announced you'll be taking on Fergus Quinn uh, on a yeah. massive, massive card um, in Belfast, Tyler McKenna, Mohamed Mamoun undercard. Um, you know, how did that sort of come about? And am I right in saying this was meant to happen back in March? Yeah, the fight was meant to happen at the end of March, and um, Fergus uh, broke his hand. So... The fight had always been put back, but we hadn't had a date yet. And then obviously Tyrone McKenna announced he was coming back to fight. And then um, the Collins asked if we could, if we wanted to do it on that card. And straight away, mate, my answer was yes, just like the, it was the fight before when it was supposed to happen the first time. So I mate, it's on. The fight's on. Um, four weeks to go in a great place. And I think it'll be a very exciting fight, a very good fight. Obviously, you know, one of the main talking points of this fight is undefeated versus undefeated. Obviously, you know, yes. 6-0 and yourself against 9-0 and Fergus Quinn. Um, you know, apart from that, how much do you sort of know about Fergus and how what do you think you can sort of use of what you know to your advantage um, in the fight? Good fighter. Seen, we, seen some clips him. Um, southpaw, strong, come forward, you know what I mean? Um, maybe only knows one way, but who knows? A, a good amateur background as well. So that's as much as I know about him, to be honest with you, mate. Um, but again, I'm a fighter. I just focus on myself. I believe if I turn up 100% turn Aston Brown turns up in the night, he can beat anybody. So I just focus on me, mate, and um, we'll get a job done on August the 3rd. Definitely. So one last one on the fight. Do you know if it's an eight-rounder or a ten-rounder or anything like that? Ten-rounder, mate. It's scheduled to be a ten-rounder. They're trying to get an, a, tight, a title attached to it as well. So it'll be a ten-rounder, mate. And I, I'm looking forward to that. You know what I mean? Um, I've been calling for the longer rounds, the more rounds, the, bit, the bigger fights, you know what I mean? And that's and, uh, so it, it's been provided, so cannot wait. Definitely. Do you think if a title was to be added to the fight, it would maybe add more fuel to the fire or is the, you know, the game sort of the game? Uh, I think it, it does. It's a bit more incentive, I think, mate, but I think it's it's going to be a cracking fight, mate. It's going to be, as you say, somebody's all has to go. It uh, can be a total battle. Who knows? I might box in the back for 10 rounds, you know what I mean, and just outbox them. But everybody knows me, mate. There's going to be times in that fight we're going to be standing, we're going to be trading, mate. And I think that a lot of people are saying it's one of the pick, picks of the night, you know what I mean, of the fights. So I am looking forward to it, mate, and taking a big crowd over there. And um, I going to upset the party. Definitely. So on to training. Um, you know, how have you sort of found training for this fight? Uh, obviously, like I say, you know, it's been quite a quick, you know, turnaround. You're mm-hmm. last out in May, then you'll next be out in August. You sort of stayed yes. in camp the whole time, or...? Stayed in the gym, mate, to be honest with you. I had a wee week off after my last fight, but I, I, I saw I always stay in the gym anyway. You know what I mean? I think if you're going to make if you're going to make the most of your career, mate, you're better just being a gym rat, as I say. I always preach that to the young fighters. Just stay in the gym, you know what I mean? Because boxing's a short career. Um, but we've had some amazing sparring already. I've been sparring with Josh Taylor. Um, we did a lot of rounds with him, just for, obviously for the southpaw style. You know what I mean? And... I don't think you can get much better spar than that, can you? I, there might be a wee bit of weight difference, but technically, it's one of the best fighters on the planet, mate. So, been learning a lot for Josh. Going to do Liverpool next week for some sparring as well, mate. So, training's been really good. Um, been getting some good sparring and I'm in a great place and we've still got four weeks to go. Definitely. So, you know, if you were to get the win uh, come August, what do you think that would sort of mean to you in your career going forward? Obviously, you know, in the last interview, you were saying you want the big fights and, um, mm. you know, that's where, that's where you belong. Um, do you think maybe, you know, like you say, this fight could potentially be for a title? But if not, do you think maybe a title fight next? Or what do you think would be next for you if you were to get the win? Aye. When when I win in August, mate, it will be, I think it will just push me further up to, as you said, fight for a recognised title. Maybe a Commonwealth shot, something along the lines, you know what I mean? But it will push me further up the rankings. 
more noticed, you know what I mean? My name spoke about and then hopefully get a, some sort of recognised title by the end of the year because I want to be out before the end of the year again, obviously, um, and keep active, mate. That's what I've been looking for in my career is a bit of activity. Um, obviously, I had a long time at the ring, so I need to get active. And again, as you said, it's I've been, I thought I fought a couple of months ago and now I'm fighting again, you know what I mean? So I'm looking to keep really active, mate, and hopefully get a couple before the end of the year, who knows? Definitely. So obviously, you know, the middleweight division is quite uh, big domestically. You know, there's a ton of fighters. You know, it's quite mm-hmm. a wide division uh, domestically. You quite, you've been quite vocal on the Troy Williamson fight, that that's potentially the fight you want. Are there any other names that you potentially want if you were to get the win, or are all eyes on August 3rd? All eyes are on August 3rd, mate. But again, I'm willing to fight anybody if it makes sense, mate, on a big platform. I'm looking for the big platform fights and, and big names, you know what I mean? The Troy Williamson fight still interests me. But again, my full focus is on Fergus Quinn on August 3rd because I know he's a very good fighter. So I need to be full, full focus on him, mate. Um, get the job done. Then we can speak about other fights after, isn't it? Definitely. And then last one for me. Have you got anything you want to promote? See if your sponsors, tickets to the fight, socials, anything like that? Massive shout out to all my sponsors, mate. Um, they all do me proud. Uh, Neil Walker, Neil Walker Driveways is one of my main sponsors. They're always backing me a hundred percent, mate. Not I mean pushing me all the way. If it wasn't for them, it'd be virtually impossible to do this full time so I want to thank them massively and thank all my sponsors for all the support and um, everybody tune in August the 3rd if you can't make it we'll be live with the zone and I, I cannot wait to put on a, a masterclass performance definitely Aston thank you very much for your time once again mate I really do appreciate it and yeah best of luck in August and we'll definitely do it again sometime thank you very much mate alright you take it easy